it is easy to say in english triple b but in nepali or another region language is difficult yeah three b b b it is not a b b english ma bhanna la yes sajilo ha okay but you write it down this is very very important you are going to get a bth within 15 minutes now yelo ma to bolna sa tapai lekhnu hos kina ki 15 minute ma tapai bth bhaunu hos all right listen carefully okay yeah, if, if somebody ask you what do you believe you cannot say oh i don't know because of pastor kam asked me to take baptism i took baptism yadi kasale tapai lai so dio kina vishwas garnu bho bhanera ani tapai le chai o mala tha chaina malai pastor kam le chai baptism leu bhane mane li hale bhanera hudaina the some people say oh let me ask let me whatsapp to my director and ask give you what is the answer ani bhanna ni saknu na tapai le ma mera director lai sochu ani tapai le bhanna you know every believer every pastor is we should know what we believe harek pastor harek vishwasi le janne parcha ani ke vishwas garna sakcha that's why this five chapters are called basic belief of a believer tese karne yo paanch ta paath haru yo chauto paath lai chai vishwasi haru ka आदर बोल विश्वास बनाली वेरी गुड राइट इट डाउन आस इट इज प्लीज लेट नो अस है विश्वास ये लोग को आदर बोल विश्वास ओके इफ समबडी आस्क यू व्हाट डू यू बिलीव कैन यू गिव मी सम आंसर्स व्हाट इज आवर बिलीफ कसले भन्न सक्नुहुन्छ तपाईले के कुरा विश्वास गर्नुहुन्छ तपाईको विश्वास के हो एनीबडी कसले बताउनुहुन्छ वेदर इट इज अ राइट और रंग प्लीज टेल दिस इज अ वर्कशॉप गलत होस या ठीक होस कुनै त्यसले अर्थ राख्दैन एन्ड आई अलवेज से इन द वर्कशॉप वी पुट रोंग बोल्ट बट देयर आर स्पैनिश टू टेक इट आउट डोंट वरी द यु नो से गोष्टी हो गोष्टीमा तपाईले भन्न सक्नुहुन्छ ओके व्हाट वी बिलीव के कुरा म धानी विश्वास गर्छु ओके ओके देन बेस्ड ऑन अपस्टोरी व्हाट इज दैट बेस्ड ऑन Okay, that is true. Poor believer will not understand what do you mean talking about the creed and all. They will understand greedness, but they don't understand creed. <laughs> okay, I got it. I got it. Anybody else? Very good. Anybody else? Back side. What is that? Jesus coming again. Okay, good. Anybody else? Very good, very good. So write it down. We are going to tell. Okay, we are. I'm going to tell you what we believe. Number one. Number one. Which, we believe Bible is the word of God. Bible sahi, but Bishop ko vachan hone ra hai vishwas karo. If somebody ask you, you should boldly say, I believe Bible is the word of God. Ini kaise le sun sa hone? Bada garva ke saath toh mere baat na bolta sa. Bible, but Bishop ko vachan hone ra hai. So when you say something, you should prove from the Bible. Ini usne kya kuch aur bhansa hone? Toh mere Bible baat ke saath sikh dega na. So write it down. Second Timothy chapter three. Verses 16 and 17. Let us do so to both the Athena Deco, Shora and Satrapal. I say my request, everybody in this classroom, please write it down. Your concern on when a simple journal is on road, let us. I tell you, the four years course you are going to learn within half an hour. I am honestly speaking. Only the people in mind are in the class of Bandai Shora. Hey, you chat with your co adjun. I'm not. I'm not joking because I'm running a Bible college. I'm telling you, four years course, you are going to get it in a very glimpse model. All right. The concept. So, Bible. We believe Bible is the word of God. हामीले विश्वास गर्दछौ बाइबल परमेश्वरको वचन हो सेकेन्ड टिमोथी च्याप्टर 3 वर्स 16 दोस्रो टिमोथी तिनाले एन्ड सेभेन्थ सत्रपद एन्ड सेज दैट ऑल स्क्रिप्चर इज इन्स्पायर्ड वर्ड अफ गॉड किनकि यसले भन्दछ सबै परमेश्वरका वचन हो व्हेन यू से धर्मशास्त्रहरु ऑल मीन्सको वचन हो ऑल मीन्स व्हाट ऑल ओल्ड टेस्टमेन्ट एन्ड न्यू टेस्टमेन्ट सबै धर्मशास्त्र भन्नुको अर्थ के हो त भन्दा पुरानो करार र नयाँ करार इन्स्पायर्ड वर्ड अफ गॉड 
Inspired means it come from the very mouth of God. Everything is given in the book, in this book, it all came from the very mouth of God. You know, I always say when you read this book, this book will not read you. But when you read this book, this book will read you. Amen. That's why the Bible is called living word of God. If you take any book, you will see in the first page, there are revised versions. You... You take any book, you will see in the first uh, page, oh, there is a 13th revised version. But no revised version is required for this. For every generation, this is an updated version. The Bible is called mirror. I saw some of you are came here this morning and they were looking at the mobile and you know clearing their hair. Maybe one hour, two hours every morning we spend before the mirror, but how many of us are spending before this mirror? You know, the advantage of this mirror, this mirror will give you the exact picture of what is of your heart. And the Bible also called water. What is the advantage? What is the advantage? When you see there are dirtiness through mirror on your face, this water is able to clean your face and your inner body. I can preach another three hours about Bible. I'm going to stop now. <laughs> okay. Number two. Number two. We believe in living God. We don't believe in many goddesses. Okay, we have only one God. How do you prove? Some sisters or brothers, if somebody can please stand up and read Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4. Six verse four. Please stand up and read immediately, please. Another 15 minutes more, please. Those who have, can read from the mobile or some anything, please stand up and yes. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4, please. Ah, our Israel, oh Israel, Jehovah is one God. We don't, we don't have many goddesses, only one God. But there are three personalities here for this God. That is called Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. So if somebody asks you, you say, you must say that I believe in Trinity, Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. How can you prove, how can you prove, prove Trinity? Genesis chapter 126, let us, us means plural. Let us means Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. In Isaiah chapter 6, Jehovah is asking a question, who will go for us? 
Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. When you come into New Testament in the baptism, give baptism in the name of Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 to 20. And in the second Corinthians, the last chapter, last verse, the benediction in the name of Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So we, we believe there is a living God. Number three, we believe in Jesus Christ. Okay, don't forget that. We believe the second person of the Trinity. In the Greek language, we write Christos. Christos means Christ. See, during the Christmas time, Christmas time, you write Xmas. Why Xmas come? How the Xmas come? Because the first, the first letter of Christos X. Okay. So look at that. Jesus Christ. There are two names are given there. Jesus is the human name. Okay. It is a while he was on the earth, Jesus was known, Jesus, in human name, Jesus. But his divine name called Christ. Okay, the Jesus, the reference is Matthew 121. So what is the meaning of Jesus? Jesus means Savior. The word Jesus comes from Jehoshua in Hebrew. Jehoshua. That's why Joshua also called Jehovah is my savior. Okay, the Christ is the divine name. That's why in Matthew chapter 16, you can write it down. Peter, Jesus asked Peter, what people talks about me? And Peter said, you are the son of God, he is Christ. Okay, the word Christ comes from the Hebrew word Messiah. Let me tell you a spiritual meaning here. When you pray, Jesus knows your heart because he has human nature. He can answer your prayer because he got a divine name. So today onwards when you pray, don't close your prayer in the name of Jesus. Don't pray that prayer. That is not biblically prayer. When you, when you pray and close, always pray that. If I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Why? You believe that humanly he knows my problem. And divinely he is able to solve my problem. And Jesus has human nature, Jesus has divine nature. Many of you are tired, Jesus was tired. Many, are, many of you are thirsty. Jesus was thirsty. He had thirsty. Many of you are climbing mountain. Jesus had climbed the mountain. 
When if you are sitting, Jesus sat near the well of Samaritan woman. Oh, all this proves his human nature. He was omnipotent. Okay, he is omnipotent, he is omniscient. And omnipresent. Number four. We believe in Holy Spirit. Okay, don't forget that. Third person of the Trinity. John chapter 14, sorry, John chapter 15 and 16. 15 and 16. Because Jesus said that I am going to send a comforter. Okay, Holy Spirit is called comforter. You know, in Greek language it is called parakleptos. You know, what is the meaning that? One who walks alongside. I will show you, this is the real meaning. Okay? See, this is the exact meaning. One who walks alongside you. One who carries you. Hallelujah. The day you get born again, till the rapture, He is carrying you. Amen. So don't clap and invite Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is always carrying you. <laughs> Some people, worship people, leaders, they call, okay, let us worship Holy Spirit. Don't do that biblical mistake. That's not biblically correct. <laughs> you, you came to the stage, you came to stage by the Holy Spirit, the present, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay. The ministry of the Holy Spirit can be divided by two. Look at the board. Old Testament and New Testament. In the Holy, in the Old Testament, Holy Spirit was coming and going. <coughs> it is called temporary abiding. Holy Spirit abides in a person temporarily, never Never permanent, ne or never forever. When, but somebody, suppose somebody commit mistake, Holy Spirit will leave. That's why David in Psalm 51 prayed, do not take the Holy Spirit from me. But before Jesus leaves from this world, he, he said, I am going to give you a comforter. He is going to abide in you forever. From the day of Pentecost onward, Holy Spirit is permanently abiding in us. Till the day of rapture. If a believer, if a Christian unknowingly make mistake, not the Holy Spirit is living, but the joy of salvation is losing. All right, number five. We believe in angels. Many of the pastors. Okay, by the way, how many pastors are here? Please raise your hands. Okay, very good, very good. You know, many of us, when we preach, even the leaders, when we preach, we don't preach about angels. But I tell you, angels are doing tremendous ministries. 
Who opened the prison for Peter? Angel Surly. Who took Lazarus to heaven? Angel Surly. Who protect Jesus' body, Jesus, while he was in a baby? Who protected from uh, from the hand of Herod? Angel Surly. When you travel in a two-wheeler, who is coming with you? Angels are there. When you go to villages, who is coming with you? Angels are there. I have experienced many times the ministry of angels. You can write one reference, Hebrew 1.14. The Bible says, Hebrew 1.14 says that they are the ministering spirit. Okay, there are two more doctrine comes inside of doctrine of angels. That is called Satan and demons. Okay, so these are the two terminology, don't forget that. Satan. Satan is one of the names of an angel. Satan is one of the names of an angel. Satan Okay, you know, God created holy angels. They disobeyed God. God cast them from the above. And they have started to work against God's plan. What is the meaning of Satan? Hey, by the way, I, am, I have been teaching this doctrine for many years. There are 28 names for Satan. <laughs> so, I am going to give you a small exercise. Do it tonight itself. Very, very urgent, important assignment. Okay, when you go to home, take a white sheet of paper and write it down all the names of Satan. And the meaning also you have to write it down. It is given in the Bible itself. See, for example, Satan means what? Accuser. Another name called Opposer. You write it down all the names and ask, am I carrying all these names? If I am carrying, who is your father? I didn't say, you are only <laughs> I am not from this country, so I didn't say. <laughs> so, what Satan does for believer? Please write it down. Satan always brings division. Brothers and sisters, please, he wants to bring division in the church. That's why the division is You know, when somebody brings division in the church, please love him and admonish him and take care of him because Satan working behind him. Number two, Satan always makes division in the family. Husband and wife quarrel for simple reason. Maybe for a little more sugar, less spice. Why you indulge me? <laughs> no, very simple reason. 
Why didn't you tell me without my knowledge? Why did you go? Have you seen snake? No snake. Till you reach, it won't do anything. Especially in my place, we have a lot of cobras. Even if you stand next to cobra, it won't do anything. As soon as you take a stick, <laughs> this nature is inside of us. That is the nature of Satan. You know why he wants to bring division in the family? So that you will not have family prayer. So that you will not so that you will not have Bible study in your family. So you are losing your next generation. When I was conducting a conference in Godavari Ashram, lot of pastors were there. While I was preaching about family, one pastor was crying like anything. <clears throat> and I went and asked him during the break time. And he told me, Pastor, share my testimony wherever you go. I was giving me priority for ministry, 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 every day for only ministry, ministry, ministry. I didn't take, give any time for my family. Of course, I planted two, three churches. One day I was in very far place. I got a phone call to the next house. From my wife. I know you are so busy. I know you are so busy. I know you don't have time to spend with me. I know you are a right nice man. I found another person. <laughs> Don't call me anymore. <laughs> she kept the receiver. Back that time there was no mobile. Rub the receiver. <laughs> this pastor was calling, calling, calling. Please, please. But other <laughs> side is... <laughs> Without <laughs> conducting worship service, he ran from that village. By some way, hook or crook, he came in the night at the home. Mother was crying. Three, children, three daughters were crying. And he told me, please share. Pastors, brothers, before the church, God started the family. Church started in the day of Pentecost. Family, family started in the book of Genesis. You may be super busy. You may be a director. Forget about it. Forget about your position, brothers. You need to be at the home, spend with the wife and children. Teach the Bible, your children first, then go outside. Otherwise, an invisible man is following you. His name is Satan. If you lose your family, you lose, you lose your ministry. Number six. God created human beings. So we believe in man. But before that, I forgot to give you a reference. Colossians chapter 1 verses 15 and 16 for angels. 
Of course, I gave you Hebrew 114. Uh, Hebrew 114. Uh, one, okay. Then man. We believe God created human being. We are not coming from monkey. Even though we have monkey believers. <laughs> three months this church, another three months, another church, another three months, another church. <laughs> but we are not from monkey. The Bible says God created us in His own image and likeness. <coughs> Genesis chapter 1, 26. And He created us with the body, soul and spirit. Okay, remember that when what is the image and likeness means? <coughs> Many pastors came and asked me, is it God looks like me? <laughs> image and likeness speaks about you know the communication we can have with God. For example, you can communicate with God. That is another word, image and likeness means. In another word, you can say, share the character of God each other. Example, God is faithful. When you became born again, that faithfulness is coming to you and you should be faithful. <coughs> God is righteous, you must be righteous. Amen. So God created human being. We believe in that. Number seven. We believe in sin. Romans chapter 323. Romans chapter 323. Bible says that all our sin is. Hey, by the way, what is the meaning of sin? Sin, sin means missing the mark. You are, you are shooting here. But it's going somewhere else. In another Hebrew word, going beyond the boundary. Biblical word, sin means disobedience. Listen carefully. Three kinds of sin. One sin is called imputation of sin. Because of one man, we all are sinners. Number two, inheritance of sin. Because of that sin, I am possessing that sin nature. Number three, personal sin. Brothers, pastors, you need to teach about sin from your congregation, from your pulpit. One of my brothers came and told me, believers came and told me, Pastor, pray for me. I am facing problem because I am handling lot of money. Temptation is coming to me. Please help me how to overcome sin. You know what is what is temptation? See, this is the Greek word for temptation. You say Greek, Sabdao, Pariksha. See, 
the fish never see a hook inside fish only see a bit uh masa masa le kaile pani balchi dekhdaina tara balchi ma bhayeko charo ma ta dekhchha the same way temptation every inside of temptation there is a hook be careful are pariksha ma tya balchi ko huncha when a girl smiles when a boy smiles on you young people be careful there is a hook in jawan bhai bani na yaad garnu ho jab keti hasa keta muskurauncha ulto bhai gya somebody ka balchi huncha you know pastors be careful after the message some pretty come and say oh, it was very nice message pastor hosyar hunu hos prachar gari sake pachi koi aera oh ho aaja ko bachan sarai ramro chha can you give me your whatsapp number you think no one will like Okay. Sorry. Osher knows. Be careful. Osher knows. Next, number eight. Alko, aaj ho. We believe in salvation. Ami udhar ma vishwas karta hu. We believe Bible says we need to be born again. Bible ne aamila kundu sa ami naya jagi janme ka unu karta sa. Ephesians chapter two, eight and nine. We received salvation by faith alone, Christ alone, grace alone. Amen. I mean, who does say? Let me just. Bishwas bata. By Christ alone. Christ bata. By faith alone. Bishwas bata. By grace alone. Anugrah bata. Hallelujah. We don't need to do anything for salvation. Udhar ko lagi I mean, like, kya hi anne kare? Salvation is free. उदास बिना मूल्य यू डोंट नीड टू क्लाइंब एनी माउंटेन कुनै नै पहाड चढ्नु पर्छ यू डोंट नीड टू जंप इन द वाटर पानी को मुन्तिर डुब्नु पर्छ जस्ट बिलीव दैट ही डाइड एंड बरियड एंड रोस रिसरेक्टेड फॉर माइ क्रिस्टस जानु नै मर्नु भयो गाडी रुपा पुर्नु थाल्नु भयो विश्वास गर्नुस् त कुरालाई हालेलुया आमेन हालेलुया एंड बाय बिलीविंग यू कैन डू एनीथिंग नो यू शुड बिलीव लाइक अ क्रिस्टियन विश्वास गरेपछि जे पनि गर्न मिल्छ भन्ने होइन फेरि विश्वासी भएर जीवन होस् नम्बर 9 नौ church mandali we believe in church hamile mandali ma vishwas gardachu matthew chapter 16 verse 18 onward jesus said that matthew 16 ko 18 jesus said that i will build my church isule bhanu bho ma mero mandali sthapana garnu some people say there was church in the old testament no there was no church bhanne gardachan purana karar ma pani mandali thiyo bhane hoina jesus said i will it is going to happen ईश्वरले भन्नुभयो म स्थापना गर्नेछु व्हाट इज द मीनिंग व्हाट इज द मीनिंग अफ चर्च तपाईको मन्दिर चर्च द वर्ड कम्स फ्रम द ग्रीक वर्ड कॉल्ड एक्लेसिया मन्दिर भन्ने शब्द ग्रीक भाषाको एक्लेसिया भन्ने शब्दबाट आयो एक एन्ड कालियो दिस आर द टु ग्रीक वर्ड्स यो दुईवटा शब्दहरु छन् ग्रीक भाषाको एक र कालियो भन्ने दैट मीन्स कॉल्ड आउट पीपल यसको अर्थ बुलाइएका मानिसहरु हो ब्रदर्स एन्ड सिस्टर्स व्हेन यू आर अ मेम्बर अफ अ चर्च डोन्ट फर्गेट दैट यू आर कॉल्ड आउट बाय गॉड दैट्स व्हाई दिस इवन यू जब तपाई मन्दिरले भन्नु हुन्छ तपाईहरु बुलाउट बुलाइएका मानिसहरु हाउ मेनी काइंड्स अफ चर्चेस हाउ मेनी काइंड्स कति प्रकार का मंडल यार होता है? Two kinds, दो ही प्रकार का। Universal, विश्वव्यापी मंडल। Whole world believers, संसार भरी का विश्वासी और कुछ चर्च। Local church, अनिस्थाने मंडल। This is a local church। यो स्थाने मंडल ही होगा। Amen, Amen। How long church will be in this planet? How long church will be in this universe? यो पृथ्वी में कति लाम समय समय मंडल ही रहने सा। Till the rapture, till the rapture. उठाई लगी ने समय समय। Last number ten। दसों। Last things। अंत का कुरारों। Amen। That is called eschatology। यह सही। भविष्य मा। Study about future। भविष्य को बारे में करने आते हैं। What are the last things? अंत का कुरारों की क्यों उन्हें? This is my last section of the class too। <laughs> okay? यह जो अंतिम कक्षा बनी हुई है आज को बार। Rapture. You say what I like it. Tribulation. This was the mass and cost. White throne judgment. And this was the new ascent. New Jerusalem. New Jerusalem. New heaven, new earth. New earth, new heaven, new earth. Everything comes in that. These are the things that are. 
You can write book of revelation for that. Book of revelation reference you can write. Okay, Pastor, I'm going to stop here. Listen very carefully. Last section, please. If somebody asks you, what do you believe? You must say, I believe in Bible. Okay. Let us, let us say together, okay? I believe in Bible. I believe in the living God. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in the Holy Spirit. I believe God created angels. I believe God created human beings. I believe human being committed sin. I believe God provided salvation. I believe Christ is going to come one day. Listen. Why this order is correct? If you, if you listen, you will agree with me. Everything. This should be our foundation. Everything comes from the Bible. See, number one. So how do we know about God? The Bible teaches. Who told you God loves you? Bible tells. Bible tells. Number two, Bible. See, God. God so loved the world, He sent Jesus Christ. After Jesus, He said, I'm going to send the Holy Spirit. Father, Son and the Holy Spirit, they created angels. Father, Son and the Holy Spirit, they created human beings. And man committed sin. And God provided salvation. And those who are born again, they should be the member of the church. For that church, Jesus is going to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for listening. Let's have a